Well, good Wednesday morning to you. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. Hallelujah and praise God. I hope that you've had a glorious and wonderful time in the Lord this week thus far. This morning, I want to I want to talk just a little bit about um, how we delay in the Lord. And I got this from, from today's devotional out of uh, Open Windows. This is a, a, a Lifeway publication. It's just a great publication. I like to read it at least daily. And uh, many of our congregation members do as well. And I just want to talk a little bit about what it is uh, dealing with here this morning in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8. And it goes through verses 18 through 22, but we're just going to look at, at verse 20 today. And I want to talk about how we we delay so many times and when God's trying to do something in our life by not repenting, by not following the convicting power of the Holy Spirit in our life. And I dealt with this a little bit Sunday morning out at LFBC. We'll talk about that. Before we do, let us pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we just love you. We praise you. We thank you, Father God. Lord, thank you for your convicting power, the Holy Spirit, as he leads, guides, and directs us through uh, the convictions that he lays upon our hearts of where we are wronging you each and every day, Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, one of the things I dealt with out at LFBC Sunday morning was talking about coming into church with a contrite heart, coming into church with your heart not being in the right place, because of the fact that you've not been on your knees, you've not been in your word, you've not been listening to God when God is trying to mold you and trying to change you and trying to take these sins or, or trying to get you to move forward with something and you're not doing that. And so therefore you're disobeying God, you're being disobedient unto your master. And so therefore when you come into the church as a whole, the church corporately, you can have an adverse effect on the body of Christ as a whole. And this kind of deals with that as well. Talking in Jeremiah uh, chapter 8, verse 20, it says, The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Now, this was dealing with Judah and their wickedness. This was dealing with Judah and, and their idol worship and the ways in which they were not being obedient unto God. They were not repenting of their sins and, and allowing God to bless them. And God says, I'm going to bring forth wrath upon you. And uh, just a, a few of the verses here, or a little bit of what the devotional says. It says, is there something in your life right now that you know God is calling you to do? Is God calling you to witness to someone or to stop sinning in certain areas? Are you being obedient or do you find yourself thinking that I will do this later? Now, talking about the verse today is a, is a proverb that speaks of the tragedy of wasting an opportunity. Judah had an opportunity and they missed it. They kept telling God that they would turn to him later, but never did. They learned that a time comes when it is too late to act. What time is it today for you, dear ones? What what do you find God laying on your hearts today? Is there sin in your life that you're not dealing with that Jesus Christ is specifically, and the Holy Spirit is specifically putting on your heart that you need to turn away from? Sometimes it's, it's some type of sin that maybe it's not so easy to, to just put down and walk away from. But what God would have us to do is to turn away from it. Turn away from it. If we fall, understandably, that's okay. But are we obeying God and turning away from that in which he is calling us to be obedient unto him to get sin out of our life? Or maybe it's something that God is calling you to do. Witness to someone, to go on a mission trip, to do this or to do that. Is God telling you to do something and in your disobedience, you are refusing uh, to do the work of God and the will of God. God would call you right now to repentance, to repent of your disobedience and to follow him. You know, so many times in our lives, what we see is by our disobedience, it has an adverse effect upon our walk with Jesus Christ. You see, he has things that he has ready for you down the road, one step, two steps, three steps down the road. But before you can get to those steps, you've got to first deal with the things that are in your life right now. We have to wake up every morning. If we are under the blood state banner, if we are following Jesus Christ as a whole, we are trying to live our lives here, then we must remember that everything that we do, all from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, that God has a plan for us. And he's trying to mold us and shape us into that person that we need to be for the next step that he has for our lives. And we need to be ready for that by repenting of our sins and by being obedient unto the, to the small tugs or the pressures 
as God's molding us to, to be obedient and to be adherent unto these things, this just helps as God leads us into the way in which he would have us to go. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Dear ones, as you go off to work or to school or to play this morning, remember this, God has a plan for your life. He has, he has it all planned out. And so right now he's trying to mold you and shape you to get you ready little by little for every step that you need to take, every step that you need to walk in that walk, hallelujah, with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warlick and I'm the pastor at Leonard's Fort Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to LFBC? I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. Have a great day. Join us at www.leonardsfork.org for all of our newest sermons. Come out tonight at 7 p.m. to LFBC. We're in the Book of Romans doing our Bible study, midweek Bible study, and God bless you today.